I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My name is Tom Lindbergh, and I was born in Woodland, January 9, 1927, and grew up in Esparto, grew up in Esparto in the house next door to our present Esparto Library, which was then an almond orchard. My father, Mel Lindbergh, grew up in San Francisco. He was a professional boxer in the early 1900s. The Southern Pacific Railroad had a promotional weekend to come to Esparto area and look at subdivision property for sale. My father bought 30 acres just southwest of Esparto. By 1920, he and his three brothers lived in the area and planted the 30 acres in almonds and apricots. In 1921, he owned and managed the pool hall in the Odd, Bill, Odd Fellows building in Esparto at the north end of town. His brothers helped with the business. My father got married in 1925 and built the house that I grew up in. The house was just a half a block from the grammar school and the high school. The grammar school consisted of four classrooms. The bank closed in 1933 and at the same time prohibition ended and my father could now serve alcohol in the bar and sold by the bottle. My job was to take the checks over to Wyatt's General to the Wyatt's General Store and pa and cash the checks for my dad, and I was paid with an Eskimo pie or a candy bar. I sold my magazines like the Saturday Evening Post and Collier's to the customers in the bar. We had a baseball field, football field, basketball, and tennis courts at the high school, just a half a block from my house. We all played pickup games there. My mother was glad we were so close to the school so she could keep an eye on us. My dad worked seven days a week and was always busy. Our swimming pool was the irrigation ditch half, mile, half a mile south of town. In the wintertime, we played cards and Monopoly in the depot and in friends' homes. In the fall of 1939, I was in the eighth grade and they were re-roofing the high school. Fire broke out at the roofing site and burned half the high school buildings. Everyone in town came out to watch. The wooden gym was saved. During my freshman year in high school, we had classes in the grammar school building until the high school was rebuilt. Esparto during these days had many businesses, six different gas stations, two auto repair shops, a blacksmith shop, doctor's office, drug store, the Ford dealer, one lumber yard, Wyatt's General Store, one depot and a depot agent, two grain warehouses, one Ammon warehouse, four bulk oil and gas distributors, two barber shops and one hairdresser, and two lunch counters and several small dairies in the area. There were two insurance agencies and a general, general building contractor. There were several one-room schoolhouses in the area all the way to Rumsey in the Cape Bay Valley. The population of Sparta was less than 300 people. In high school, I played football, basketball, baseball, and tennis. In my senior, in my senior year, I was cl the class president. After high school, I attended Stanford for a quarter, and when I turned 18, I joined the Mar Merchant Marines during World War II. I was at Guam when the war ended in 1945. When the war, after the war, I moved to Lake Tahoe and sold real estate. In 1949, I returned to Esparto and worked for my dad in the bar in Pu'ol. When the Korean War started, I joined the Air Force. I was gone for three years and returned to Esparto in 1953. In 1954, I married and my brother Mel and I took over the bar and Pool Hall and my father's almond orchard. 
Hammond prices went up and we were doing pretty well financially. In 1958, I was appointed road carrier for the post office. I also bought 50 acres of Hammond just outside of Cape Hay, where I moved my wife and four kids in 1960. In 1977, my brother and I sold the bar and Puol. Farming, post office, and real estate were my jobs then. By 1977, as Bartle did not have as many businesses as when I was young, only two gas stations, the hardware store, no doctor, no more depot, and all the gas distributors were gone. There was one barber and one eating establishment. In 1980, I moved with the family to Woodland and retired from the post office in 1995. Looking back, Esparta was a great place to grow up during the Great Depression and World War II. Everyone was friendly. And we all looked out at looked out for each other. I was very fortunate to live in Esparta.